Welcome to the Davis Newscast for Wednesday, June 1st, 2022. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. After a two year hiatus, Child Month celebrations will resume in St. Kitts and Nevis in June. This year's theme is Recycle, Save the Earth for Our Children's Future. The selected theme is an opportunity for us to share the importance of environmental preservation through recycling with our children. At school, they will learn about recycling and its importance. During the month, children will be encouraged to bring at least one plastic bottle to school with the intention of recycling. At the end of the month, all bottles will be taken to the Sustainable Project Recycling Facility at Long Point. Parents, we encourage you to use this time to have discussions with your children about recycling. You can demonstrate recycling at home and even work together on projects. As a family, create a recycling station by placing a box in a specific location and asking your child to place plastic items such as bottles there after use. Junior Minister of Education, the Honorable Troy Lybird, says Child Month 2022 promises to be engaging and interactive. Given commendations to the team at the Department of Education for coordinating the activities for Child Month, Minister Lybird assured that the Early Childhood Unit will continue to do its utmost to protect our children and keep them safe, while equipping them with knowledge and skills that they could use in the future. It would be remiss of me if I didn't take the opportunity to highlight our early childhood caregivers who are shaping the lives of our most vulnerable daily. Your work and your contribution towards shaping the future of Nevis is immeasurable. We thank you for giving your best and giving of yourselves daily to ensure that our children are safe. We thank you for nurturing and preparing them physically, educationally, and emotionally. During this child month and beyond, we celebrate our children. We also celebrate you. It is indeed a pleasure in my capacity as Minister with Responsibility for Education on Nevis to declare the 2022 Child Month open. The official Child Month activities for 2022 were revealed today during the opening ceremony of Child Month 2022 and launch of the Prince and Princess Pageant. The Prince and Princess Pageant is slated for Wednesday, June 29th at the Nevis Performing Arts Centre. A total of 10 public and private preschools will be participating in the pageant. The participants had the opportunity to introduce themselves during the launch. Then to the Anna's school, I am four years old. I am four years old, John Tanja. Go ahead. Montessori Academy. I represent the rights to identity. My name is Ayane Chalky Prasad. I attend Montessori Academy. I represent the right to identity. Hi everyone. My name is Kiarawana. We are proudly representing the St. John's Preschool. We believe in the right to a good quality education. Standing before you is the environment for us on St. Perry. And I am the energetic fire older and grand. My name is Michael Lewis. 
I am four years old and I attend the Kamehameha Preschool. My name is Jada Woods and I am four years old and I attend the Kamehameha Preschool located at Camps Village. I am five years old and started Nisbet. I am four year old Heavenly James of the Vaughn and Lou Preschool. Dominic Johnson, present please. Elijah Johnson, present please. Introducing to you a bright and shining star at the Charleston Preschool. Note that please, I am five years old, Alicia Gishai. I am five years old, Nathaniel Juma Steven. Together we are school. Education officer responsible for early childhood, Florence Smithen, spoke on the celebration's theme, Recycle, Save the Earth for Our Children's Future. This year, we celebrate under the theme, Recycle, Save the Earth for Our Children's Future. The words expressed in our theme are quite fitting and beneficial to our community and the world we live in today. Research has shown that recycling is a great way to protect our environment and stimulate our economy. Recycling saves resources, prevents pollution, supports public health, and creates jobs. It also saves money, reduces waste sent to the landfills, and best of all, it is easy to do. During this month, our preschoolers will learn how important it is to recycle materials and what they can do to help save the planet Earth. Principal Education Officer Zanella Claxton was also present at the opening ceremony and delivered brief remarks as well as Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Kevin Barrett. The other activities for Child Month 2022 include Youth on the Go programs, Church Services, Child Month Parade in Nevis, Dancing Stars, V&J's Children's Matinee, Meet the Education Officials and Fundy, Child Month Parade in a set kids and recycle day. Still to come. This is why I am here today as minister with responsibility for disaster management to urge everyone who have not yet begun. The details after this break. Taxes are the lifeblood of a nation. Feel good about what your tax dollars do in Nevis. As a responsible citizen, your tax dollars protect our environment. Pay your taxes on time. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. I can assure you that the Nevis Island Administration pledges its support and will do its part to ensure the island's readiness for the eventualities of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. Minister with Responsibility for Disaster Management, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, gave that assurance on Wednesday, June 1st, as he delivered an address to mark the official start of the Atlantic hurricane season. The need to build our resilience and reduce the vulnerability of our society has now become vital. This is why I am here today as Minister with Responsibility for Disaster Management to urge everyone who have not yet begun to start getting prepared early for this year's Atlantic hurricane season. Minister Jeffers reiterates that preparation for this hurricane season is important. I encourage the private and public sector businesses to establish emergency plans and business continuity plans. I appeal to all families to establish family disaster and communications plans, in addition to conduct simulated evacuation drills. Some of the tips we encourage are as follows. One, know where the emergency shelters are located. Two, 
stock up on food with extended expiry dates. Three, have supplies such as first aid kits, flashlights, and extra batteries. Create go bags with important documents, cash, medicines, and change of clothing. Four, trim trees with overhanging branches and clean known drains and waterways. Five, listen to the alerts and warnings issued by the local meteorological offices and the Nevis Disaster Management Department. He also used the opportunity to thank the Nevis Disaster Management Department and the cadre of trained persons and volunteers who play critical roles in coordinating the preparatory actions across the island. I want to express my sincere and heartfelt appreciation to the volunteers who have sacrificed their time and safety over the years in an effort to ensure vulnerable persons are taken care of. The disaster subcommittees that represent an all-government approach, healthcare workers, public works team, emergency shelter managers, first response agencies, community emergency response teams, and, of course, the Nevis Red Cross volunteers. Your willingness to serve year after year is commendable. The official Atlantic hurricane season is June 1st to November 30th. 18 staff members of the Ministry of Agriculture were recognized by the Ministry at an awards dinner on May 29th, awarded as the Ministry of Agriculture's staff members of the year 2021 were Susan Paul of the Nevis Abattoir with Nasir Havi recognized as the most improved worker in that division, Terence Brown and Devonte Edingborough of the Veterinary and Livestock Division. Davin Smithen of the Marketing Division, Shakima Hanley of the Extension Division, with Brandon Frederick being recognized as that division's most improved worker, and Peter Edwards receiving a special award. Rhonda Sutton of the Nevis Agro Processing Center, Judith Singh of the Small Farm Equipment Pool Unit, Aklima Bryan of the Propagation Unit, Zoe Bendito of the Nevis Disaster Management Department, Vaughn Sturge of the Department of Marine Resources, Ingrid Chisholm of the New River Estate Farm, Nigel Sample of the Potworks Estate Farm, Shondell Collins of the Prospect Estate Farm, and Gwendolyn Lawrence of the Indian Castle Estate Farm. Vinelda Doer was awarded as Head of Division of the Year 2021. The Quarantine Division was awarded Division of the Year for 2021. The event brought the curtains down on the 10th Annual Agriculture Awareness Month with the theme, Fostering Economic Growth Through Innovation. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing. <music>